Hello, I'm David Pagan Butler. Now, springtime is a delightful time of year, and in particular at a pond. We've now got new plants starting to grow up, we've got the water temperatures increasing, we've got the first of the dragonflies appearing, and the water clarity is starting to improve. But along with that improvement in water clarity, we now have more light penetrating down into the depths of water. So this can mean uh, we have an increased level of algae growth. Now, filamentous algae hangs around in the margins, and that's what most people are concerned about. Uh, uh, but is this a problem? Well, not really. All you need to do is sort of really ride it out for a while, because as the tall emergent plants grow up, they will tend to shade out the algae and compete for the nutrients in the water. And so algae will become less and less of a problem as we come into the summer. Uh, in this pond, there's another form of algae, which is the periphytic algae, algae that's growing on, the, on surfaces. As that's getting more light now because of the increased clarity, it's starting to photosynthesize, generates oxygen. They tend to trap the bubbles of oxygen and clumps of it will lift off and flow to the surface. But again, given time, that will start to disappear as the plants start to grow. So should you be worried? No, not really. Should you resort to chemical use? Certainly not. This boating pond in Cromer, the North Norfolk coast, is a splendid civic amenity. What's not so splendid is the fact that it normally has loads of algae in it. So to try and prevent it this year, they've put in this blue dye. Oh well, the algae has gone for the moment, but what it means is there's no life in there, so there's no natural predators for loads and loads of mosquitoes and midges. So it may work in the short term, but in the long term, you wouldn't want to swim in this. In fact, you'd come out bright blue if you came out. But it doesn't work, because it's not working with nature, it's working against nature. But as it happens, it's still a splendid amenity for my Boaty McBoatface. I, can't, I can never say that.